2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hey everybody, coming right up. The Oklahoma City Thunder against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. Well, for Utah, an impressive performance for them in Game 4, winning on the road. Now back on their home court, they're looking to take advantage. Looking to maintain home court advantage. Jack, it's going to be a challenge. This series is tight. Yeah, a lot of talent on both sides. The swings and momentum reflects that. I'm interested, I'm interested to see who comes out and controls the pace. Well, when you're at home, you have a certain style that you want to play. I look for them to push the action up and try to establish a, a rhythm. Man. That would be a, that would be a good blueprint. Yeah. Here's Kevin Harlan as they get ready for the opening tip. The state capital of Utah dramatically lit up on a beautiful night in Salt Lake City. Hi again, we welcome you to our broadcast of the NBA playoffs here on 2K Sports. It's all tied and we're in a crucial game five of this first round Western Conference matchup. Kevin Harlan with you, joined by Doris Burt, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge reporting courtside. Hey Dave. Head coach Quinn Snyder is trying to help the Jazz break through in a crowded Western Conference. Snyder said, there's always challenges and I'm comfortable with adversity. I just want to keep the right perspective. I've got something that I love to do. And Kevin, he is one of the biggest reasons the Jazz is always a factor. He is doing a great job. Thank you, DA. Now the opening lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Robertson and Gallinari at the small and power forward positions. Chris Paul is out there with Gilgis Alexander. And it's Adams in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Utah, Mitchell is the two with Ingles at the three. Rudy Gobert is out there at Bogdanovich. And it's Conley in at the point guard position. It'll be the Thunder off the tip. Here's Paul. Pass to Robertson. Alinari outside, and there's the pass to Adams. Five to shoot. Back to Gallinari. Fires from deep. Utah with the rebound. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. Kevin, very hard to stop Bogdanovich. He's excellent at keeping his follow through despite taking the contact. The Jazz shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. What's up? And guys, Bogdanovich, the former second-round pick, has really found his place in the NBA. This guy is an effective shooter from just about anywhere. Now here's Paul. They grabbed their own miss. It is good. Well, simply stated, Stephen Adams is a force to be reckoned with rebounding the basketball. Bogdanovich dishes to come. Pass to Mitchell. And no good that time. Adams, some nice D. Alinari attacking, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Michael Conley picks one up. Oklahoma City shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight.
free throw good from Gallinari. hits them both. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Conley against Paul. Paul with the steal. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Good and Paul gets the assist. And it's no secret that Paul is an energetic defender constantly swiping at the ball and ripping away steal. Now here's Mitchell. To stop the run, and Adams sends it back. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. The shot's good from Paul. Great teamwork, punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. Here's Conley. Mitchell outside. A baseline J. A shot missing. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. They come off the loss on Friday. Yeah, I mean, hard time shooting the rock in that one. But they also didn't give themselves the best looks. I think, Greg, even when you get quality looks, there was an inability to stay consistent. It is hard to win on a cold shooting night in today's NBA. The scoring is just too good. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? Gobert, the pass to Ingles. Paul against Conley. The dish to Mitchell. To the paint. Rocket six. Bogdanovich finds Mitchell. To end the cold streak. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. When you think your scorer, one of the guys that comes to mind, as young as he is, Donovan Mitchell. Adams, the pass to Golinar. Now, Gilgis Alexander. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Golinari against Gobert. Gobert with the block. This is Gobert's specialty. Twice on the pipes from the stifled tower. It's tipped. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Conley. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Paul dishes to Adams. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Alinari surveying the D. Pass to Adams. Shot clock at six. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight.
Floyd, there's just a brute strength and physicality about Steven Adams. This guy knows his role and plays it to perfection. Now here's Conley, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Gobert, laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Nice touch there near the hoop. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Thunder. Seven-point differential. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit, who knows, but he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. Out left to the wing. Conley surveying the D. Ingles kicks to Gobert. Feeds to Bogdanovich from 18 feet away. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Molinari finds Gilgis Alexander. Gobert with the defensive effort. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Conley, the pass to Gobert. Plays it up and banks it in. Well, there's size, and there's length, and there's touch. Rudy Gobert doing work. This is it to Gilgis Alexander. The epic counts. Gilgis Alexander's got five points so far. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now, here's Mitchell. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Seven points in the game. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Conley against Paul. Mitchell outside. A three-pointer off the mark. And another miss. Whew. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. A nice shot by Gallinari. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Mitchell outside. A pass to Gobert. Back to Mitchell. Pass to Conley. The Thunder pull it in. Adams has got five rebounds tonight. Molinari dishes to Paul. Over Conley. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Paul's got his third basket of the night. Jazz trail by 13. Utah calls timeout. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. So Utah ends up going with the new group. And then for Oklahoma City, Merlin's Noel checks in for Gallinari. Terrence Ferguson comes in for Robertson. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Chris Paul. Now here's Bradley. Here's Moutier. And the rejection by Noel. They're running. 
Jumps up. Here's Ferguson. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. Schroeder against Moutier. Six to shoot. Clarkson with the ball. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. And already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Here's Moutier. The Thunder making the shot. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. And Davis sends it back. And the Jazz pushing it up now. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. Bradley can't get it to go. The Thunder leading by 17. And the powerful one-handed slam. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. As to Clarkson. Here's Niang. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Down to five on the shot clock. There's the three. Shots good by Clarkson. Well, the one thing about Clarkson, a little bit inconsistent from deep. So that's a welcome sight for his team. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Guarded closer. And here's Clarkson. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Adams. And now the fast break. Schroeder with the ball. This is where the speed of Dennis Schroeder comes into play. When he's moving like this, the defender is in a tough spot. First trip to the line for him here. And he makes the first. One thing Dennis Schroeder has proven is that he can be an effective player whether he's starting or coming off the bench. This is a versatile guard and maybe his best attribute, confidence. Mike Muscala is checked in for Adams. That one is no good. Jazz trail by 17. Here's Niang. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. To the middle. Davis with it. Now guarded by Schroeder. Clock at four. Here's Moutier. It's blocked. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Moutier against Schroeder. From down in the low post, it goes. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Moutier passes to Brantley. Kicks it to Clarkson. Now, here's Moutier. Just five on the clock. Passes to Niang. Takes a three. The Thunder pull it in. Schroeder outside. Here's the floater. That shot misses. Great D that time from Davis. Now, here's Clarkson. He'll just Alexander cover it. Moutier dishes to Davis. 
Ball's knocked loose. And now, here's Gilgis Alexander, the fast break chance. And he makes that one. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And Utah has possession. Clarkson surveying the floor. He kicks it to Moutier. In the corner, Bradley with it. Utah the rebound. Moutier finds Bradley. Lock at six. Now, here's Clarkson. He'll just Alexander cover. Here's Bradley. Off the mark, and the drop continues. Now, he'll just Alexander. That one drops for him. He'll just Alexander's got 18 points in the game. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit, Greg, for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. And that's it for the first quarter in what's been a very lopsided game. It's the Thunder opening up a huge gap. Live from Vivint Smart Home Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. One of the better two-way guards in the NBA, Mike Conley, said his inspiration growing up was none other than Gary Payton. He's one of my favorite players growing up. Um, I had Gary Payton jersey, had his shoes, everything. So when I looked at a player, I was like, you know, he plays on both ends. I want to be able to do that, too. And you know, Conley, maybe not the size of Payton, but Greg, he's always taken the challenge defensively. And you can see how much of an influence the glove had on Conley. He plays a lot like him on that end. So glad to have you with us here as we bring you more action from courtside at Game 5. And a very convincing performance from the Thunder so far. Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. Taking a look at the Thunder, Schroeder and Gilgis Alexander pair up in the backcourt. Muscala is out there with Ferguson, and it's Noel in at the five down low. Here's Niang. He's been quiet so far, still no points in the game. Here's Moutier. Brandley kicks to Davis. Moutier. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, when Emmanuel Moutier has got deep post position, boy, he is going to attack and earn the trip to the strike. Utah shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw good for Moutier. And still trying to find his footing in the league. Moutier must show improvement in his shooting moving forward. Robertson, he's checked in for the Thunder. Both free throws good from Moody. The Thunder leading by 23. Shooter passes to Muscala. Tipped away. There's the pass to Noel. To the left wing. Here's Schroeder. Again, the Thunder score. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. 
Clarkson with the ball. He's got five. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Well, pick your poison. Jordan Clarkson is proficient in the pick and roll game, and he's basically saying, what do you want to give me? I'm going to take advantage. Schroeder against Moutier. Nobody near Schroeder, and Davis pulls it down. Davis has got four rebounds now tonight. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Pass to Clarkson for three. Can't hit that one. And the Thunder going the other way now. And just not able to find the target from three-point range here in the second quarter, although he did knock down one in the first. And that one, good. Ferguson's got his first points of the night. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Clarkson kicks to Moutier. Over Robertson. Here's Davis. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul goes against Oklahoma City. The Jazz shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Gobert, he's checked in for Bradley. Bogdanovich comes in for George Niang. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Clarkson. And Mike Conley subbed in for Emmanuel Moutier. The Thunder also changing it up. Alinari comes in for Nerland's Noel. And Paul subbed in for Ferguson. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys. And it hasn't been by accident. Paul with the bucket. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Utah Jams. He dishes it to Mitchell. There it is, his second make of the game. He's missed five. There is a level of physicality, and the frame of Donovan Mitchell allows him to finish through contact. Paul kicks it over to Schroeder. No good that time. Good deed by Bogdanovich. For Utah, they've gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. Mitchell outside. Has to go bare. Shoots over Schroeder. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, over to the left wing. And again, it's Oklahoma City. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Gobert dishes to Conley. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Mike Muscala. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that's foul number two. Maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. And Utah making a change here. Ingles is checked in. Shoots the three. And it's Mitchell missing. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. Utah's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Outside Conley. And there's the feed to Gobert. And there it is for him. How about the splendid concentration from the Frenchman, Rudy Gobert, excellent at converting while getting hit. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Adams, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. A free throw drops for Gobert. 
Well, at seven foot one, Rudy Gobert has become known as the Stifle Tower. And this guy starting to excel and get a bigger role on the offensive end. Now, here's Paul. Eight points for him. And here's Robertson. Kicks to Muscala. Four on the shot clock. And Paul puts up a deep three. A three-pointer, no good. For Utah, they've gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. Bogdanovich, no luck. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. Now, here's Robertson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And the shot goes in. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Jazz shooting the ball poorly, just 28%. Bogdanovich passes to Conley. Paul with the steal. And here we go. Paul heading to the hoop. Drops in the breakaway layup. Paul's got 10. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Conley against Paul. Mitchell up top, lets it go. The Jazz again can't hit it. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Here's Paul. Rebounded by the Jazz. Gobert's got six rebounds now in the game. Mitchell outside. Over Robertson. Here's Gobert, uses the glass to finish the layup. Nine points in the game so far. You know that old expression, you can't teach size, but Gobert showing great effort as well. I love that he creates second chance opportunities. Now here's Paul, 10 points for him. Passes it to Adams. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got his third assist on the night. Moving it around, eight of their last 10 coming off assists. Conley against Paul. Conley kicks to Mitchell. They get a hand on it. Gobert double teamed. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And the Thunder with the possession here. And it's Paul with the ball for Oklahoma City. Adams finds Paul. Back to Adams. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Now here's Gobert. Nine points in the game so far. Jazz passing it around. Just five to shoot. Here's Mitchell. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. Steven Adams picks one up. This is what Donovan Mitchell is looking for. He wants to seek out body contact and get the hoop in the harm. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Shea Gilgis Alexanders checked in for Andre Robertson. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Free throw drops for Mitchell. It is still amazing to me that in 2017, Donovan Mitchell wasn't even a top 10 pick. If you had a redraft, he'd likely go top two. Absolutely incredible. Looking for Bogdanovich, and he gets it there. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Muscala's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Paul. Six for 10 with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. And when he takes it inside, the points are going to come, whether like that possession or just getting to the line. Paul against Conley. Mitchell outside. Oh, 
on the top of the key. Utah keeping it alive. The new 14. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. And yes, it's good. Well, to me, this is what great point guards do. Donovan Mitchell demonstrating just how skilled he is at connecting with open teammates. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. 18 points for him. Gobert with the block. Conley against Paul. Paul with the steal and pushing it up here. Here is Oklahoma City. Paul's running and the basket is good. Gilgis Alexander's got 20 points. Yeah, the vision, the timelessness of Chris Paul's game. Time For out, many out. years, he's made everyone around him better. Utah calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Bradley's checked in for Gobert. George Niang comes in for Bogdanovich. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for Donovan Mitchell. And it's Moutier in for Mike Conley. And then for Oklahoma City, Merlin's Noel checks in for Mike Muscala. And Terrence Ferguson subbed in for Gallinari. Now, here's Clarkson. Seven points in the game. And Adams sends it back. Well, so good at anticipating when shots are going to go up. Steven Adams, terrific, protecting the basket. Utah's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Here's Ingles. Ferguson with the rebound. Oklahoma City has gone 1-3 from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Down low. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Emmanuel Moutier picks one up. The Thunder have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. And the first one at the line is good. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. 151 left in the first half. And it's Moutier with the ball. He brings it up for the Jams. And the pass to Clarkson. Moutier against Paul. Left side, Bradley. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's his first trip to the line. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Schroeder's checked in.
and he sinks the second. There's a minute 34 left in the first half of the game. Pass to Noel. Dishes it to Schroeder. Floats one up. And it's Bradley with the rebound. Bradley's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Clarkson. And the layup is good. Clarkson's got six here in this quarter. Jordan Clarkson showing he's capable of finishing inside. Oklahoma City's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Adams outside. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's covered closely. He gets that one. Gilgis Alexander's got 24 points. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Here's Clarkson. No good with the triple. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. It's stolen by Schroeder. Here's Adams. He's got 11. Now here's Schroeder from deep three-point range and the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's Oklahoma City up by 33 points as the buzzer sounds. A huge lead for them. Their defense has been active and effective. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Quinn Snyder. Quinn, what concerns you most about the first half? Well, I think the tempo is in their favor right now. They're uh, they're fast, and they're getting up and down the floor. So they're running out in transition. Got to beat them to the punch. Thanks very much, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back to the second half of basketball right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. How about the playoff atmosphere? We're going to break down all the first half action for you. Looking at the Thunder, in the first half of this critical Game 5, they've played with intensity and energy, and they're now poised to grab that all-important three games to two lead in this series. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. Their ability to get into the paint and get to the rim has been deadly constantly attacking the basket. It was clearly their intention right from the start to pound it inside as much as possible. And I don't see them straying from that strategy in the second half. It's going to be another paint-based attack. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Utah? The first thing to say is, what's up with the turnovers? Jeez. You can live with some missed shots and stuff like that, but you can't keep turning the ball over. Crushing for a team. It just saps all your confidence when you play a half like that. I mean, ugh. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. We're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Here is Conley. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Conley and Mitchell, the talented backcourt pair. Joe Ingles is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Gobert in at the center. That's the group starting the second half for Quinn Snyder. The shot's good. Well, the balance, the ability to take contact, absorb it, and still finish. That is beautifully done by Donovan Mitchell. And they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. Oh, Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible, and boy, that's a terrific start right there.
Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. And Utah has possession. Now Conley. Knocked away. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will retain possession. Gobert, the pass to Ingles. He kicks it to Conley. Six on the shot clock. Mitchell outside. That's in there. Conley with the assist. And 12 points for Donovan Mitchell. How impressive is the catch-and-shoot game of Donovan Mitchell? I'll tell you, you better be there on the catch or he's going to make you look silly. Gallinari down low. He's covered by Bogdanovich. A nice shot by Gallinari. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Has to go bare. They get a hand on it. Paul with the ball. Now defended by Mitchell. Fires from 14. And again, it's Oklahoma City. That makes three in a row to start the second half. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Utah Jams. And Gobert kicks to Mitchell. There's the dish to Conley. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. Mitchell passes to Gobert, and that one drops. Gobert's got 11 points. Gobert has a thin frame, but make no mistake, he is physical and he relishes contact. Here's Paul Adams. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Oh, great timing. He is one tough customer on that offensive glass. You know, it's like he has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. Now here is Conley. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Mitchell outside. Lock at six. That shot missing. And the Thunder going the other way now. Yo, man, I'm on Chris. To the right side. Doubled by Bogdanovich. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. So it's the Jazz now. Jazz have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Mitchell's shot is good. Mitchell's got seven points for the quarter. Boy, excellent start to the second half. They've missed just once in five attempts. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Covered by Mitchell. Adams dishes to Paul. From outside, off the mark. The Jazz have gotten four of their first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Gilgis Alexander passes to Paul. Count that one. 16 points for him. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Uh, Greg, to me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Good on the shot. And it's seven points for Boyan Bogdanovich. Well, Rudy Gobert stands seven foot one, and he's an unselfish guy and puts the pass on the money. Gilgis Alexander with it. Now defended by Mitchell. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. The Thunder have shot the ball well from the free throw line. Eight of nine. Oh. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. And Utah making a change here. Davis is checked in. Mike Muscala is checked in for the Thunder. Good on both. Conley with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Okay now, Conley. Kicks it to Mitchell. It's deflected. Now, here's Robertson. Defense right on him. Shot clock at five. Out to the right wing. Here's Paul. The shot from the low post is good. Paul's got six here in this quarter. And no surprise here, right? This guy is not only a gifted player, but he is so smart on the offensive end. Outside Conley. Let's it go from deep. Gilgis Alexander pulls it in. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. And Gallinari throws it down. Okay, two hands for safety. That's, that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Mitchell trying to get open as Davis. And there's Mitchell. That's good on the assist from Conley. Conley's got his fourth assist in this one. Gilgis Alexander passes to Paul over Conley, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. 20 points for Chris Paul. Beautiful stuff from CP3, figuring out every single way to exploit the weakness of the defense. Conley dishes to Gobert. Gobert double teamed, and a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And so here is Oklahoma City. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Thunder. Alinari outside. Unable to get that one. Gobert with the defensive effort. Outside Bogdanovich. Paul against Conley. Passes it to Gobert. He dishes it to Bogdanovich. They get it again. And there's Gobert putting it right back in. This guy so dangerous on the offensive glass. And you love to see it jam at home and leave no doubt. Paul is doubled. Inside. And stolen by Bogdanovich. They push it up for on three. Here's Conley. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. The Jazz have made two-thirds of their free throws tonight. Six of nine to be exact. That free throw, no good. Still a solid point guard in this league. When Conley is healthy, he makes a considerable impact on both ends. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Bradley's checked in for Gobert. George Niang comes in for Ed Davis. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And Emmanuel Moutier subbed in for Mitchell. And he's good on the second. Thunder have gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. Paul makes it off the glass. 
Paul's got 22 points. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. The pass to Bradley. The Jazz working the ball around now. Fires the three. Shots good by Clarkson. Clarkson's got 12 in the game. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. Paul against Conley. And here is Paul. He's got 22. Six to shoot. Shooter passes to Muscala. Here's Paul. Takes the elbow jumper and trains it. Paul's got 12 points in just the second half. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Pass to Brantley. Dishes to Conley. He swipes the ball away again. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. Now here's Schroeder and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. 12 points for him. That's about willpower from Dennis Schroeder. Great job out hustling guys on the offensive glass. Outside Conley. Fires the three. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Here's Ferguson. Moutier with the rebound. And guys, you've heard of overpassing. Well, that shot was an example of underpassing. Well, there's no doubt there were better options on the floor, but it certainly seemed like he had his mind made up. Oh, wow, guys. Doesn't look good. We've got an injury here. And I'll tell you, this is the last thing you want to see. I just feel so bad for him. What he's going through right now, you just have to hope and pray that it's not too serious. Ed Davis has checked in for Utah. O'Neal comes in for Michael Conley. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Nader's checked in. Utah's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Clarkson on the wing. And that one is off. And the Thunder going the other way now. Here's Ferguson. He's covered by Clarkson. Muscala, the pass to Noel. Good on the bucket. Noel's got his first two points of the night. Well, six foot eleven Nerlens Noel so efficient down deep, working his magic thanks to that great size. Here's Moutier. And the rejection by Noel. Get up on Dennis. Here's Schroeder. The shot comes out. Davis with some nice D. And so Clarkson will bring it up for the Jazz. And he dunks it down. Wow, big time move by Jordan Clarkson. The defense forced to adjust. That's an incredible drive. Who's got that? Pass to Ferguson. Here's Nader. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Ferguson kicks it over to Schroeder. Just five to shoot. From downtown, rebound Utah. Davis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. I'll tell you, you allow him to get to a spot, and it's over, right? Defense unable to even challenge the shot. Now, here's Schroeder. He's got 12. One forty-one left in the third. Sweet little floater. Schroeder's got four points in the quarter. 
This guy is a creative offensive talent. Dennis Schroeder can hit defenders with a variety of moves. Go ahead with the floater. Now here's Moutier. He kicks it to Clarkson. Goes back up, and the rejection by Noel. This is a staple of his game. Nerland's Noel sends it back. To the inside, here's Nader. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The Thunder have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Shooting two. He's off on the first. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for O'Neal. And a switcher also for Oklahoma City. Adams checked in. He doesn't get the second one. Utah has gone into the three-point range four times and Jeff time and buried two of them. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, this is Emmanuel Moutier at his best. The aggressive mindset trying to put defenders in a difficult spot. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. That free throw missing. Good on the second free throw. Here's Ferguson. Passes it to Adams. Schroeder outside. Back to Adams. He feeds it to Noel. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Boy, what's better than Nerland's Noel playing with force on the interior? What a big reason he's earned this trip to the line. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And you know, guys, listen. Noel brings value. The reason he's a menace on the defensive end and an absolute warrior on the glass. All three throws good from Noel. 36 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Niang. No points in the game yet for him. Moutier, no good. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. Utah's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Now, here's Clarkson. Not a lot of room. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. This, to me, is when Clarkson is at his best. When he's pushing the action, being aggressive, it carries over to the rest of the team, guys. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. throw good Clarkson 
the one thing with Clarkson, sometimes he can get a little out of control. And he does a tremendous job creating offense and putting himself in a position to attack. And both free throws good for Clarkson. Nine seconds left in the third. Now here's Schroeder from deep. Off on that one. Well, you love to see Emmanuel Moutier put that kind of effort into the defensive end of the floor. Love it. And so it's Oklahoma City. Way out in front, their lead at 38 points as we close out the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And we'll be back with you shortly. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates, Greg. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. And for the Thunder, they're shooting 61%, showing all the indications of an offense that is locked in. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. So for Oklahoma City right now, we've got Diallo, Ferguson out there with Nerland's Noel, and it's Burton in at the three, the small forward. And Utah has possession. The Thunder making the shot. Here's Davis, and the rejection by Noel. And here they come. The rim-rattling two-handed jam. We want easy looks. Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast-break opportunity, and the finish pretty good. Teardrop shot. Here's Clarkson again with the block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Jazz have gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Oni, he's guarded by Diallo. The shot by Clarkson, no good. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. Burton, no good. You've got to be more aggressive. That kind of soft effort won't get it done. Ferguson with the rebound. The Thunder have gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Jazz. Here's Williams Goss. That's tipped. And now a fast break for the Thunder. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Go Barry's checked in for Utah. So he hits both. Utah's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. 
Now the pass to Davis. Here's Williams Goss. Softly drops in the floater. Williams Goss has got his first points in this one. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Time now for an injury report. Hi, guys. The head athletic trainer of the Jazz gave us some information. He said it is definitely a broken jaw. Just a horrible injury to suffer. And you couldn't have a worse time for this injury, Kevin, especially as the last games of the season are approaching. All right, David, thanks. Well, guys, certainly not the news his fans were hoping for. Yeah, not at all. I mean, it sounds like he's got a long road ahead of him in terms of his recovery. And our hearts go out to him. The guy works so hard. His teammates love him. Coaches love him. He's going to be missed. The first one falls. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Thunder have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Here is Baisley, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Ed Davis. Yeah, easy call. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Second free throw, no good. Utah's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Williams Goss. And here is Davis. Pass to Niang. Shot clock at six. Beyond the arc. He doesn't hit that one. Go bear. No luck. They battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. Here's Ferguson on the money from 12 feet away. Here's Williams Goss. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. They're running. Goes up. The coast to coast dunk. Way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. Big time play right there, showing the activity and ability to impact this game. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. 
The Thunder have gone 4 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Ferguson, the pass to Diallo. Five on the clock. Three-pointer. Rebound, Utah. Gobert's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Here's Williams Goss. They swipe it. And now a fast break for the Thunder. And that one is hammered home. Every team looking to get easy ones in transition. We call that one the do it yourself kit. Passes it to Niang. Here's Williams Goss. Lock at six. Another shot. They get it back. And there's Gobert putting it right back in. And he's really shot the ball well. But, but it hasn't been contagious. Thunder have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Here's Ferguson. There's the pass to Baisley. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Beasley's got five points now this quarter. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Pass to Niang. Here's Williams Goss. Jacks up a three. Good on the three-point shot. Boy, nice stroke from downtown. Got it off just before the defense could react. That's his specialty. Ferguson, the pass to Baisley. Here's Burton, pass to Baisley. And Davis sends it back. Utah has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Williams Goss. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will retain possession. The Jazz making a switch here. O'Neal's checked in. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Nader's checked in. Nice ball movement by Utah. Down to five on the shot clock. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. For Oklahoma City, they've gone six of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Ferguson, the pass to Baisley. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And he can't hit the second. The Jazz shooting only 32% from the field. Plenty of signs of struggle by this offense today. 
It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Here's Burton. And he banks in the layup. They are just killing him on the interior. Utah has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Here's Williams Goss. Feeds it to Davis. Four seconds left, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And Oklahoma City called for the foul. First one falls for. And both free throws good for Davis. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. Pass to Burton. Thirteen feet away. That shot, no good. Oni, and he bangs it home with one hand. And he just elevates and powers in the one hand. Mm -hmm. Textbook. Here's Ferguson. And there's the pass to Baisley. Here's Burton. Four on the clock. Knocks it loose. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Here's Williams Goss. And Gobert kicks to Davis. And it's Baisley with the rebound. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Good. Diallo's got six in the quarter. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Here's Williams Goss. The teardrop falls in. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. Here's Ferguson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on Ed Davis. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And the Jazz with possession here. Up and in on the layup. Davis has got four points now in the quarter. Well, so great when your offense produces a shot that close to the rim. The rest of the work becomes easier. 
Here's Ferguson. Here's Baisley. No good there. Great tee that time from Davis. Utah has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Here's Burton. One fifty-six left in the game. Pass to Nader. Launches a three. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Gobert, the pass to Williams Goss. Six on the shot clock. Davis with the bucket. And guys, that's just about going to do it here for game five. Always pivotal. And now we look ahead to a critical game six. But a huge win tonight for Oklahoma City. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. Outstanding pass on time and on target. Thunder have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. Pass to Baisley. Davis with some nice D. And his defense, so valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. It's good. You can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. No doubt. It felt like they were a little tight for much of the evening. Now they're in a better flow, but it may be too little too late. Here's Ferguson. After Ed Davis's score, Ferguson the pass to Baisley. No good again that time. Now, Gobert. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. This was a pivotal game in the series so far, and they were able to keep their heads great, get the job done, and take the all-important three games to two lead. Now they can breathe yeah, right. just a little bit easier, oh, knowing goodness. they're just one win away from closing this thing out. Had they lost this game, the pressure on them would have been huge. Oh, just gigantic, you're right. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Danilo, transition, big for your team. I assume that was a big focus tonight. Yes, we want to run, and that's what we have to do every time. So that's what we did, and we played a great game. Gallo, thanks very much. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.